Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators EMA, RSI, Divergence and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price moved down with around 3.8% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1617. However, the volume wasn't especially high, so this move wasn't very strong. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is, is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 1663. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Moving to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 35, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is in the three hourly ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 1573. The ribbon is spread out so the support should be strong. Looking at the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 46, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Searching for divergence in the 3 hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Looking at the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the daily ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 11.54. The support should be relatively strong seeing as the ribbon is spread out. Looking at the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 63, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. On the lookout for divergences in the daily time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.